Okay, this is Jacob Schmidt with DeerHuntingSchool.com. I want to talk about a, a special situation that really comes around usually once a year um, in deer season, guys, and that is the very beginning of the season. Um, it's, a, it's a time where everybody's pumped up, everybody's excited about being out there, everybody's ready to get out there to the, uh, to you know, hunt a deer. They, they're dreaming up all the, you know, all these things, all this. That's a special time, but that's not really what I'm talking about. What I'm really, really talking about is some places is, is the, the timing of when the deer season opens. Guys, if taking advantage of that timing on what actually has to go on in the deer's world can be a huge advantage. Now, I'm going to talk about it just briefly here. First thing I'm going to talk about, basically this goes on everywhere. These deer, if you're hunting heavily pressured deer now, um, these deer are, have, are pretty relaxed, they're pretty well calm, they haven't been hunted in quite a while, they've calmed down from the season before, they're not so nervous, that doesn't mean that, you know, when one smells you or whatever, they're not going to blow out of there and, and, and you push them um, out, out of the, you know, where they won't come through past your stand, okay? You still have to be smart as a hunter, but these deer are pretty calm. But something that's really, really special about it is, depending on the timing of your season, um, some places their their deer season starts early September. Um, ours here in Arkansas, ours starts the last weekend of September. Um, some places starts most places start um, at the beginning of October. Okay, so somewhere in that time frame. And what's really unique about that time frame is is the the amount of daylight, the amount of hours of daylight there are is more than the nighttime hours. So these nocturnal bucks, these so-called nocturnal bucks. Um, they're really, you know, they don't have any hunt, haven't had any hunt pressure on them in a long time. They're pretty well calm, but, you know, that's not the main thing about that's going to help you to catch that buck in the daylight hour. The main thing that's going to help you to catch a so-called nocturnal buck, an old buck that's been pressured, he doesn't want to move in the daylight. The main thing that's going to help you catch him in the daylight hours is there is too much daylight. For him to stay bedded all day long, he just cannot do it. He has to get up sometime during the daytime and move. He's got to eat. He's got to have something to drink. A lot of times, the beginning of that season, especially if it's early September, or your season starts in September, you've got some really hot weather. A lot of times, okay, that deer is going to have to at some point get up and get a drink in the daytime. He just can't physically lay there for 13, 14, 15 hours without getting up and having something to drink if you have hot weather. He can't do it. He's got to get up. He's got to get him a drink. Many times they've got to get up and have something that may not move a long ways if he's really pressured, but it's a good time to take advantage of them deer. One strategy you use right now, it's, it's well, I'm making this video anyways, it is uh, the beginning of August, okay? This time of year, really long, long daylight, okay? We have lots of daylight. These deer, these bucks cannot stay nocturnal. It's almost impossible. In the, a lot of times in the evening you can get out, um, ride around in your vehicle with a spot and scope, um, check out some of these fields, especially in the evening right before dark, and find some really nice bucks in a summer pattern, and you can be, start patterning them there. And the first couple days of deer season, of bow season, um, the first couple days, a lot of times that deer will still be in the same pattern he's in right now. <coughs> I mean, you have to you have to be very careful doing it. Don't let him, uh, don't spook him. But you can set back from a distance a lot of times because they're out in fields. Um, they feed out in fields a lot. They're still in velvet, um, and they'll feed out in fields a lot this time of year. And you can catch that buck coming in and out of the field, figure out where he's coming in and out of, and you can figure out where to put a stand. And a lot of times you can get you can bag that deer within the first couple days of bow season. After that, the hunt pressure really gets on him, and it pushes them more nocturnal, but even then, at the beginning of both seasons, it's almost impossible for them to be nocturnal because of the amount of daylight hours there are. Um, so, take advantage of that. If you're not a bow hunter and you are just a gun hunter and you've got some big bucks in the area that you just cannot find in the daytime, you may want to think about uh, taking up bow hunting because that's a, that's a special time of the year that comes around every year. Them nocturnal bucks just can't stay nocturnal at that time of the year. It's, it's almost impossible for them. And another factor is they have very little pressure. They really don't want to be nocturnal. They want to get up and move a little bit during the daytime. So 
take advantage of that. Um, if you're not already, if you if you are a bow hunter, get out there, find you some bucks, start looking around, figuring you out some some nice bucks, find a pattern on one of them, get you a stand set up, do it right, do it without alerting, do it without ever letting him know you're in there. You'll probably bag that buck the first couple of days of deer season. Hope you enjoyed this video here. Like I said, this is Jacob Schmidt with DeerHuntingSchool.com. Check out DeerHuntingSchool.com for more tips, information, things like that on deer hunting. Have a good day and bye-bye.